mistake. Apple computers have an amazing built-in function called Quick Look that allows you to quickly preview the contents of nearly any file type simply by hitting the space bar. You simply select the file in Finder, hit the space bar, and a preview window will pop up and show you the contents of that file. And it works for videos, photos, Word documents, etc. Now, what many people don't realize is that there's a similar function built into the Windows 10 File Explorer, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to use today. So let's get started. So to get started, you're going to wanna to open File Explorer, which can be done from this little folder icon down at the bottom of the screen on the taskbar. Now, if you don't have this icon on your taskbar for some reason, you can come over to the Start menu and simply type in File Explorer, and the first hit should be the File Explorer. Now, I have a folder already created in fi uh, File Explorer that we're gonna use as an example, so I'm just gonna to switch to that. Now, I've got a couple of documents in here of different types. I've got JPEGs, I've got some videos, I've got some PDFs and a Word doc, as well as a couple of other things. Now, if we were on a Mac, I would be able to click on one of these documents and hit the space bar and it would open up a preview in Quick Look. Now we don't have Quick Look in Windows 10, but what we do have is the preview pane. And that can be activated by going up to the top to view and then selecting preview pane over here on the top left. And what that's going to do is it's gonna open up this other section of our file explorer and it says select a file to preview. So let's start out with a PDF. I've got a, a dummy contract here that I used for a previous tech tip. And when I click on that file, it shows me a preview of that file in our preview pane, which is really cool. And I can actually expand the size of this preview pane to view this uh, document a bit larger. If I select another file, it will show me a preview of that. I have another dummy contract that I used for a tech tip. If we go over to a Word document, the Word document's gonna show up and you'll notice it's a little wacky right now. Sometimes Word documents render kind of weird. So the way that we can fix that is simply switch to another file and then switch back to the Word document and it will show you the content within that document. And one thing you'll, I just wanna point out is if we resize this pane here, it will cut off some of the text. So you may have to play with this a little bit to get it to fit properly. But um, uh, just by stretching that out, it should it should be fine uh, once you play that play with that a little bit. Um, if I select an image, we can get uh, a preview of that image. And if I select a video, we can get a preview of a thumbnail from that video. This is a, a tech tip that I had done previously. Um, one thing I wanna quickly point out is that the preview pane doesn't work for every kind of file. So for example, this is a Python project that we had done in one of our classes. It was just a quiz game. I can't see the code that's within this Python file. Windows File Explorer just doesn't know how to preview that. Same thing with this STL file, which is a 3D printing file. Uh, Windows 10 doesn't know how to handle that. So certain files you will not be able to preview. You'll just have to open them. The same thing would happen with uh, Quick Look on a Mac. There really is no way around that. It just doesn't have the ability to open every single file type, but any basic kind of file, like a PDF, a Word document, Excel file, a PowerPoint presentation, a JPEG, a video, a PNG, and so on, uh, Windows File Explorer should have no problem opening up. Now, before we wrap up, I just wanna show one other thing here. If we go back to the View button at the top of the screen and switch to the Details pane, we now have, instead of a preview pane, we have details about this file. Now, this is the STL file that it says it's a 3D object, and it gives me the date it was created and the date modified, which isn't super helpful. But if we switch to a JPEG, I now have a ton of information about this file. I have the dimensions, the size, I have the camera that it was taken on, the focal length, the aperture, all of those details are saved within the metadata of that file. And we can see that in this preview pane. Same thing with this video. It's not quite as much, but I can see the frame rate. I can see the, uh, the, the height and width of the file. So I know it's resolution. This is really handy if you deal with a lot of different types of media like I do. I'm dealing with a lot of videos and a lot of images. So this preview pane can be very useful if I'm going through a lot of different files, if I want to quickly see the stuff I shot with a certain type of camera or maybe stuff of a certain resolution, um, I can do that very easily with this preview pane. So as you can see, the preview pane in Windows Explorer is super easy to use and extremely useful when you're organizing your files. Well, that's all I've got for you today. As always, hit the subscribe button. We release new tech tips every weekday at noon, as well as two live streamed projects every weekday at 10 and 2. And check out the DAE.com for our full list of online workshops and private lessons. And uh, if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me uh, create, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks so much and have a great day.